Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to be showing you, like giving you a quick view of the Still MSA 200. It's an electric uh, ground saw, small ground saw. The reason I've got this saw and the reason I'm kind of going to go over this saw in this video is after I injured my shoulder, I you know, really struggled to obviously hold a chainsaw in the lockup kind of thing. We've got um, we've got one of these saws that the grounds lads use, the grounds maintenance lads. And um, it's a really lightweight saw, and I just thought, you know, I'll take it just to just try it, see what it's like, and maybe do a little video on it. So it's not going to be an in-depth video, but it'll just give you a little bit of a, a view of what it's like. I thought I'd take it out on site, just see how, how it did cutting small stuff. And um, we had a, a small cherry to remove, so I just took it with me, and, you know, that's a really good test for it, obviously, cutting through through cherry wood. First, obviously, I'd give the saw a clean out, give it a good check over. The saw comes with a 14 inch bar, it's got the quarter inch uh, pitch pico chain, so it's the small one that you get on like the small uh, 150 top handles and stuff. The chain tension is really smart, it's something that I've, I've seen before but I've never actually used myself and um, it's good having no tools, you know, not using the combi spanner or wrench or whatever you want to call them, it's good not having that, you just literally turn it with your hands and then you just adjust the chain tension with the little black wheel on the top and it's really easy to get it bob on which I really that's something I really like I'm not sure how that'd work on um on larger saws and the actual wheel bit here that that goes onto the bar that's easy you can just easily just take that on and off but like I said I'm not sure how that'd really work on larger saws I don't think it'd be it'd be strong enough you know the power that's going through the bar and chain I think I'd probably just rip the side cover off which I'm assuming is why they've not done it on bigger saws if you've already got a still battery pack and battery equipment, um, it's a very cost effective, you know, it's still only around 350 quid uh, without the battery. And the battery lasts around an hour and a half or an hour or so of use um, and it also takes about 50 minutes to an hour to fully charge as well. So that's something that you need to bear in mind if you're going to be taking this out all day. I mean, you can put a good few tanks of fuel through a, a normal chainsaw if you're using it all day and you're going to need multiple batteries or have one charging or whatever. Just, just the typical issues you're going to get and things to consider when getting electric equipment. If you're looking for a small saw for around the garden, cutting firewood, um, just doing bits of grounds maintenance stuff, it's cheap, works really well and obviously being electric it's really quiet and it's uh, really simple to use. You can't really compare it to like a large professional saw like um, the 261 or the 362. I think um, it's not going to replace any of those. It could replace like a 170 or 171 if you want to, you know, move over to the electric stuff. It still uses the um, the smaller bar and chain. So, like I said, just a, a quick video really of what the saw did and just what I used it for and what it what it looks like in the flesh, I suppose. Um, hope you like the video. Uh, make sure you leave a comment if you've used one of these before or if you've got any thoughts on these electric saws and you know where the, the industry is going. I suppose with electric as well, it's quite interesting, really. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Cheers, everyone.